Hi guys and welcome back to my channel um, or hello and welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. This is video number 11 I think. Shook I've made it here, happy I've made it here. Thank you for your support. My last video blew up basically, well to me it blew up. <laughs> 76 views, that's why I last seen it at so yeah it hasn't really blown up on the internet but here we are. Um, blew up. Um, who am I? <laughs> Like, who am I? So today I'm going to do some more of those BuzzFeed quizzes that I did where I found out I was evil. That was the title of the video that I did them in, Finding Out I'm Evil. And so far it's been my best video. And I found out how to screen record. So we'll see if this works. I'm going to go for, for a Disney one first. Like, I haven't looked at any quizzes yet. Don't know what I'm at. Okay, so I'm going to do this one. The Little Mermaid test. Should be easy for anyone who memorised me as a kid. What do humans really call a dingle hopper? Crap. Dingle hopper, dingle hopper, dingle hopper. Crap! Damn! A pipe. Damn, it was a fork. What does Grimsby get Prince Eric for his birthday? Oh, a statue. I know that one. How old is Ariel? 16. She is a child. Where does Ursula store Ariel's voice? In a shell necklace. Ooh, she evil. How many thing of a bobs does Ariel have? She got 20. <laughs> Where is Ariel supposed to be while she's treasure hunting? At a coronation. At a concert. They open the shell. She ain't there. She got a dingle hopper. How long does Ariel have to get true love's kiss? Three days. What does Prince Eric kill Ursula with? The trident of a ship. A ship? A ship goes through a chest. Ha <laughs> ha! What does the chef make for Ariel's first human dinner? Oh! Oh, it's stuffed crab. <laughs> and it turns out it's Sebastian. Who is Vanessa? Oh, Ursula in disguise. A nine out of ten. I'm sad about that. Because. Well, Ariel's my favourite. Quizzes, 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 quizzes. Um, love. Oh, let's do, let's do your average love one. Okay. No, we're not doing another Disney one. Create your own emoji. Nah. Sounds like too much effort. Want to know the first letter of your soulmate's name? Just make an ice cream sundae to find out. That one sounds like less effort. Who are you? Let's find you. Pick a bowl. I mean, these ones are cute. Is that, is that what I'm meant to be doing? Like, it's a cute bowl? Pick a flavour. Oh, oh. Mint chalk chip, honey. I'm a mint chalk chip girl. Wait, what? Okay, right. Pick another flavour. Okay, well, we've got mint. Caramel. Mm. Pick a flavour. Cotton candy. Pick an add-on. Caramel syrup. Mm hmm. And finally, pick a person to share it with. Myself. Um, yeah, do you have to share? <laughs> Chunky girl coming out. X? Whose name begins with X? What, what names begin with X? Okay, right. <clears throat> New thing. Food. Food. Chunky girl coming out again, honey. Ooh, this cheese edition of Would You Rather is the hardest quiz you'll ever take. A cheese quiz is the hardest quiz you'll ever take. Let's see. It's the first one. We're just going for it. Mac and cheese or pizza? Pizza. Oh my god, I literally thought that was it. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate myself so much. I thought that that was the entire quiz. There's more. <laughs> uh, quesadilla or cheeseburger? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Mmm. Cheeseburger. Grilled cheese. Oh my, grilled cheese. Oh, I should be looking at these. Right, okay, so. Yes, 100% cheese pizza. Mac and cheese? <sighs> yes, cheeseburger. People pick mozzarella sticks over a grilled cheese sandwich. Well, I call it a cheese toaster. But really? 
Okay. Baked brie or capri salad? Baked brie. Yes. I agree with the world. Uh, queso or fondue? Well, to start with, and don't hate me, I don't know what that one is, so fondue. I don't agree with the world. Nachos or chili cheese fries? Chili cheese fries! Yes. Really? I just, I don't find nachos that appealing. I think it's because I don't like salsa. I know, I know. Weirdo over here. Poutine or fried cheese curds? I feel like this is a very American quiz and we don't have poutine or fried cheese curds here but this at least looks like a gravy chip with cheese on it so we picked her oh and we're 50 50. the world agrees on them both cheese steak or cheese ravi ravioli oh i'm not a fan of ravioli i feel like you have to get it right and it's just never right so cheese steak it is i'm so something or paneer tikka what is this? Those potatoes look raw. Tika. I don't know you put cheese with Tika. Cheesecake or cheese fro Cheesecake. Honey. Honey. <laughs> okay, well there's no actual outcome of that, but here we are. Okay, so this one is can we guess your celebrity crush based on your opinions? I don't really know who my celebrity crush is at the minute, so let's find out who he is. What's your favourite movie genre? Comedy or romance? Okay, I just love it when they get together and sometimes romance can be funny. Right? What's your greatest fear? Being lonely. What makes you the happiest? Yeah, I'm sorry, it's my music. Sorry, sorry friends and family. Love yous. Do something to do this weekend. Oh, quarantine. FaceTime with friends, watch TV, cook, play outside, go on a walk, all of the above. Play outside? Well, I'm not allowed outside, so yeah. Do some of friends. Choose a calming photo. Anybody else not kind of feel like these aren't very calming? The city or the leaves? I'd have to say the water. 100% the water. Choose a pet. Dog. Duh. So, Harry Styles. Really? Unpopular opinion. I don't think he's fit. At all. Not hot. Okay, do you know what? I want to see if I'm still evil. Ooh. I took that one that I took last time and I'm now, apparently I'm good now. So I'm going to take a Metallica quiz to find out how evil I truly am. How, like how black is my soul. Pick a celebrity to take to a Metallica concert. I mean, you'd take Avril Lavigne, right? Right? <laughs> I'm going to be so bad at this one. Oh God. Right, do you know what? Great, we're taking Snoop Dogg to a Metallica concert. Which Lars is the least arrogant? Eh, I mean, this guy looks laid back. <laughs> it's the same guy. Pick a guitar. This one. Which lyrics best represent you? Okay, forever trusting who we are. Nothing else matters. We're scanning the scene in the city tonight. We're looking for you to start up a fight. What don't kill you make you str more strong? What don't kill you make you more strong? Boredom sets into the boring mind. I'm your source of self-destruction. I'm sowing the seeds I take for granted. I've already died. It's just a funeral I've been waiting for. Flash before my eyes. Now it's time to die. I mean, what don't kill you make you more strong, right? I feel like, though, I'm your source of self-destruction. Might be correct. We're going with it. Which of these was the band's worst moment? When they sued Naps Napster and in turn their fans. The choreographed show with Lady Gaga at the Grammys. When they cut the long hair that had characterized them. When they made that documentary that showed them with glasses. I mean when they when they, you know, basically then sued their fans. What? Pick a song. Right, Seek and Destroy, Ride the Light. Seek and destroy, ride the lightning. The thing that should not be, one, enter Sandman, King Nothing, Fuel, Frantic, Cyanide, Atlas Rise. Atlas Rise, why not? Rise. 
which is the best album? Which is the best looking album cover? And this one, this one's kind of cool, right? Yeah, we're going with it. Which of these is cursed? I mean, is this a ring? I'm averagely evil. My evilness is going down, apparently. I'm actually not sure how I feel about it. Like, really, I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I kind of wanted to be evil. It was fun. Okay, guys, right. Sorry if this one ended up being really crap. Um, I went into this. The last time, I think I kind of got a few... I had a few more ideas in my head of what type of quizzes I wanted to do. This time I kind of just sat down. We'll do better next time. But maybe it's because I've become less evil that I'm not crap. So I know everybody's on YouTube basically to kind of distract themselves from the whole coronavirus situation at the minute. But I just kind of want to say, please, for the love of God, stay home. Do not leave your house unless it's for your hour walk or whatever, run, whatever you do. Try to go to the shop once, once a week to once every two weeks. Because if you, like, if you have children or you have an elderly relative that is very vulnerable and sh shouldn't really be on their own, like, not even that they shouldn't be on their own, it's just being on their own is not nice for them. Especially if your child gets sick. And they have COVID-19 or coronavirus, whatever you want to call it. They're going to go to a hospital where you're not allowed in. No other family member is allowed in. They're not going to know anybody in the room or anybody that's going in and out of the room. Those people are going to be in big, like, hazmat suits. Your child is going to be terrified. Like, please, stay home. And this will all blow over as soon as it can then. It'll be over quicker than it will at the minute because the people that are going to parks and sitting in the parks and just living their lives the way that they used to. Like, it's not fair on the people who, like me, are working a shop at the minute and the amount of people that are still coming in and just buying a packet of crisps and a drink is mind-blowing. Just stay home. It's not fair for the likes of me and the people that I know Everybody I know is staying home. They are not going to see their elderly relatives. Their children are being kept inside. And then you just see all of these other kids that are just allowed out in the street or they're allowed to roam around wherever they want. There's groups of more than two people outside. Like it is even, it is now saying that you're meant to have only two people from the same household. The same household out at the same time. That means if there's six of you in the house, only two of you are allowed out. M maybe not even two of you are allowed out at once, but two of you are allowed out. Like, say all six of you are allowed out, that means a two, group of two, group of two, another group of two. But you got to go separate ways. Like, you can't, you can't be together. Think about it. Please, let this end, because I can't be bothered with it. It's getting really boring and work. <laughs> okay, but anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, share if you want to, and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Could it be the lighting? Or am I just crap at makeup? But <laughs> Shut up. Stop looking at yourself, Melissa. Oh my god. Five methods that work. What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. Shut up. I won't be listening to you. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> so today I'm going to do some more of those um, bud feet. <laughs> <laughs> really? Mm -mm. Who? <laughs>